All right, you guys. So we are here at the battlefield of Chickamauga. Uh, this is was this was a battle site uh, between uh, the Union and the Confederates. Uh, the generals in charge, the Union general, was General Rosscans, uh, and for the Confederate, it was General Braxton Bragg. Their headquarters or their location of their headquarters are, are here uh, with these uh, cannonball markers, kind of like that, but a little bit taller. Uh, that shows where their headquarters was actually located. Uh, as we're here, we're going to be touching a little, uh, touching base on some of the monuments here. I will take you guys to the Brotherton cab uh, cabin, uh, where the uh, where General Longstreet actually led a a brigade or led about eleven thousand men uh, to push the Union back into Chattanooga. Uh, now this battle took place between September nineteenth and the twentieth. Uh, 1863. Uh, there are also markers here of eight brigade generals that was actually killed in, at the battle as well. So we're going to touch base on that as well. Um, now, I hope that you guys are enjoying the trips that I'm going on. The, 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 all the different history and monuments and all the stuff that I'm bringing to you guys. I hope that you guys enjoy the videos. Uh, I, I do appreciate once again all the support that you guys are giving me. You guys are fantastic. Um, but uh, there's a couple monuments right here as well uh, and then you got a couple of cannons uh, so make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to my channel love you guys and let's begin our journey all right you guys so we are at our first location on our way to try uh, to find one of the brigade generals that was actually killed here uh, there's a few of them there's eight of them that are buried or that was killed out here uh, we're going to try to get their um, markers as well and bring that to you guys and uh, share that information with you guys. Uh, but we're actually in a spot right here behind me or where I'm standing uh, <clears throat> was actually Cobb's Kentucky B Battalion. Uh, so this is where his artillery uh, was actually posted at the time of the Battle of Chickamauga. Uh, so you can just imagine... Uh, what kind of damage was actually done because uh, if you look right here the cannons are just lined up uh, in a line um, so they had a lot of men uh, stationed out here uh, to prevent uh, a line of def or to acquire a line of defense uh, during the battle of Chickamauga that took place uh, September 20, September 19th and 20th um, which eventually uh, was considered a very bloody battle uh, actually it was compared to the bloodiest battle right behind Gettysburg uh, so that's pretty intense information um, but as you can see there's a marker right here uh, with the Tennessee Battalion uh, so it looks like Kentucky and Tennessee was right here uh, battling uh, with one another um, right here serves a marker uh, for Tennessee as well And then you have a marker uh, for Cobb, Kentucky Battalion. Um, now, this battlefield itself, I believe I was looking at it, the battlefield of Chickamauga uh, is right around 9,000 uh, acres. Uh, so we're going to try to drive most of it and walk some of it. Uh, so if you see parts of, um, of the video when I'm cutting out, uh, it's just going to the next location um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna load up and get uh, in the vehicle and then check in with you guys again once I reach this the next location love you guys make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe to my channel and talk to you guys again soon all right you guys so I'm at the second location uh, still um, 
moving through some of the battalions uh, that was actually posted here uh, during the Civil War and the Battle of Chickamauga. Um, so we were actually at another spot, um, which is uh, the Alabama Battalion. Uh, so as you can see, there's a couple more cannons. Uh, and then they have a plaque right here uh, talking about the Alabama De uh, Battalion and how they had uh, four cannons set up right in this area. Um, so. So we're coming up on another marker, um, which is the Tennessee uh, It's really peaceful and, and quiet out here and um, just hearing the birds chirp. So, always it's peaceful. Yeah? What's your name, baby? This 
Where? All right, you guys, so I'm going to keep on um, loca uh, trying to locate these uh, brigade generals. Uh, and once I come up on them or any of the other historical sites here at the battlefield of Chickamauga, I will check back in with you guys. Uh, I love you guys. Talk to you guys again soon and hope that you guys are enjoying the video. Uh, so talk to you guys in a little while. All right, you guys, so <coughs> we have came across... Our next location, um, as you can see, Helm, Monument, and Coquit. Uh, these were the two. Uh, these were two generals, brigade generals, uh, that actually was killed uh, during the Battle of Chickamauga. Uh, so we're going to go to their monuments and pay our respects to them as well. All right, you guys. So we're going to continue our journey through here at Chickamauga and. Just kind of see what's going on here, and uh, you know, I've been out here before, actually a few times. Um, but it seems like the more you come out here, you realize that you've actually um, missed quite a bit of things. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and try to touch base on things that we've missed, uh, as well as finding new things. Um, but I hope that you guys are enjoying this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, uh, and I love you guys. Daddy. What, baby? That's what you're talking about. Yeah. That's what you're talking about. Yeah? Hmm. And why, what, what's this, what's this, 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 this thing? Huh? This thing is wrong. Where are you taking the one? Where, where are you going to find that guy? That boy? Uh, he's right here, baby. <gasps> That's one of them. There's another one right around here. What's his name? What's his name? I I'm, I'm not sure who this one is. It could be Helm or Coquick. <gasps> I, know, I, I know. I know. I didn't see one. I know I on. I know what mine is on Cancel Mountain. Mm-hmm. I know. It's it's, it's gotta be yours is. All right, you guys. So we are actually coming across uh, Peyton oh. H. Colquitt. Uh, he was the Colonel of the 46th Georgia. Uh, he was the Colonel of the 46th Georgia, commanding GIST's Brigade Walkers Division. He was mortally wounded here about noon, September 20th, uh, 1863. Uh, so here is his monument uh, where we will honor Mama. Col Colton. Daddy. Daddy. Here's Col Colquitt. Yeah, There's um, Daddy. Colonel Helm that's over here too. Where's he at? Uh, somewhere over in this area. Huh? Cannibals. Yeah. This is Cannibals. It's talking about the brigades, baby. And who was in charge of each brigade? What's this tip make? White long. I don't know.
Is he over in here? Are you are you on the phone? Looking at these specific, Mr. Helm is right here somewhere too. He's like, who's this one? Oh, I'm on the phone. He, I think. I bet you he's down on that trail over here. The arrows are pointing both this way, so he's got to be somewhere down here. He has to be. What do you say? Well, there was a trail over that way, close to that guy. Okay. I mean, you are. You do what you feel that is right. I'm just asking them spiritually to help us <laughs> find us. And then I gotta get these monuments right here. And then across the street. You want me to go take pictures of them while you try to find this one? Yeah. Alright. Come on, Kink. All the monuments are across the street. Yeah. Alright, we'll do it. I got this. Come on, Kink. You're take pictures of monuments. Try to get them zoomed in as best as you can. There's like, hey, did you know there's like 29 states that was engaged here? Yeah, and up here. Yeah. If you don't mind.
All right, you guys, so we are walking down another trail. Uh, we're looking for the our second uh, brigade general uh, that was actually killed here uh, in the Battle of Chickamauga. Uh, and there was a total of eight brigade generals uh, that died here. Um, for, for Union and for Confederates. Uh, so, we're going to try to tackle that as well. Um, now, I'm going to stop by the Brotherton Cabin. Um, because the Brotherton Cabin here at Chickamauga, uh, not only was there like a family that used to live in that cabin, um, but it was also a, it was also the site uh, where General Longstreet uh, lost uh, or launched I guess you could say a battle of 11,000 men um, in an effort uh, to push the Union's Union Army uh, back towards Chattanooga uh, and out of Georgia uh, because they knew that uh, if they was able to succeed uh, in succeed here at Chickamauga, uh, it would open up. Uh, many doorways uh, for the Union to be able to eventually capture uh, Atlanta uh, and like you know Sherman uh, did uh, he burned the city of Atlanta down on his way to the, during his uh, march to Atlanta and then after Atlanta was captured uh, and burned uh, then he began his new journey of marching to the sea uh, where he was eventually able to capture uh, the city of Savannah, Georgia. Uh, but with that being said, we have reached our second brigade general, uh, Benjamin Helm, uh, brigade general of the Confederate States of America, commanding brigade, Beckerland's, Beckerland Ridge's division. He was mortally wounded wounded here about 10 a.m. September September 20th, 1863. Um, so we are here. We have a touchdown at his marker, and here you guys go. As you guys can see, it's set up with the cannonballs. Um, this is uh, pretty cool, uh, pretty interesting stuff as well. Um, I, you know, I've got a few books on that information too. That um, Chickamauga. They actually have a map. Uh, it tells you which ones are uh, markers, uh, monuments, um, and also like different sites that occurred. Uh, so they got it pretty laid out here. Um, now, if you are ever here at the battlefield of Chickamauga uh, or the Chickamauga Chattanooga Battle uh, National Military Park, um, I do recommend uh, downloading the app of the Chickamauga Chattanooga Battlefield on your smartphone or your iPhone um, because it starts giving you better coordinates of each monument or marker that you would like to touch base on. Uh, I've actually downloaded it and it is very helpful. Uh, so I would strongly recommend doing that, especially in big military uh, parks or battlefields that you are wanting to go and learn about the history and the battle there um, I would strongly recommend downloading any kind of app uh, that can better navigate through the battlefield um, because like I was saying earlier uh, the battlefield of Chickamauga itself uh, is right around 9,000 acres uh, so you could just imagine how much time and effort it would take to be able to walk through this whole area and touch base on every single monument um, and I think that's the main reason why I've came out here uh, at least three times or so um, because I, I want to try to bring you guys the best content packed filled with history but I also want to make sure I don't miss a state you know because there was 29 states that was engaged at this battlefield uh, during the Civil War uh, in 18, 1863 uh, so each of these states deserve recognition uh, and appreciation of what they do or what they did and what they had to encounter uh, here at the battlefield of Chickamauga. Uh, 
All right, so as you guys can see, over there to the right, oh, there's a couple more units. Uh, we're gonna touch base on them as well. Okay, so if you guys are not familiar, uh, this is the Becker Ridge's uh, brigade. Uh, as you were seeing earlier, uh, there's the brigade general uh, ben Benjamin Helm. Uh, so that gives you a little bit more insight on his time here in the division that he was involved in uh, during the Civil War. Um, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, I have the wife uh, taking st st uh, pictures of the monuments here at the battlefield that I'm going to add in there as well. Uh, there's so many monuments here. Uh, it'd be hard uh, to to stop at every every single one of them. Um, but that's why I keep coming out here uh, because that's why I keep coming out here because I know that I miss a few things. I uh, don't get to see much. Uh, so I'm going to make sure that I try to get everything as possible uh, for you guys because I love you guys. I love the support that I'm getting from you guys. Uh, you guys are the best. Uh, you guys motivate me each and every week uh, to go out there and try to find something new to explore. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hop into the vehicle uh, and start my and start to the or move on to the next journey uh, and try to find the other brigade generals that was actually killed here at the Ch Chickamauga battlefield uh, on September 19th and the 20th, uh, 1863. Love you guys and talk to you guys again soon. All right, you guys, so we are at the next location of the Brigade General, uh, Preston Smith. Uh, so we're gonna take a tour of that as well. Hope that you guys are enjoying this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and continue on with our journey. If you guys can't tell, uh, see, I'm able to see that uh, because of the sunlight. Uh, it's an Indiana marker. Uh, and then there's a marker down here off the beaten path. Uh, and it will turn around uh, and start heading towards Preston Smith, who was a Confederate uh, brigade general uh, that was actually killed here at the Battle of Chickamauga as well.
All right, you guys, so right here uh, is the marker for Preston Smith. Uh, he was actually part of the Cheatham's division, and he was killed here about 7 p.m. September 19th, 1863. Uh, so that's uh, actually pretty cool. Um, Right. I think there is all right so there's one more Confederate uh, Brigade General that we'll have to locate here at the battlefield at Chickamauga uh, and then there is four Union uh, generals that are that four Union Brigade generals that we'll be looking for next um, so um, we're and also at the same time, we're, as we're going to each site where the brigade general monuments are, um, we are going to to shoot different videos here and there of different significant uh, parts of the battlefield here. Um, now, if you guys haven't seen my most recent video uh, on the regiment of the 24th uh, Illinois and 82nd Illinois, um, there is a monument here at the battlefield of Chickamauga of the 24th Illinois. Uh, so we're going to take a, we're going to take a, before we finish up here at the battlefield, uh, we're going to stop by that monument uh, and take a picture with it. Um, because I did a, a historical documentation of the 24th uh, and 82nd, and I know the 24th was here. Uh, unfortunately the 82nd Illinois did not come here uh, they did not have any battles uh, in this area um, but I am going to go out there at least uh, and pay the respects to the 24th um, now that I know that most of them was actually uh, German immigrants but as well as many other countries uh, that was involved uh, in the creation of that regiment and uh, it's always really fascinating um, to, to kind of see that information um, but with that being said I'm going to continue walking through here and just kind of get an idea of what's out here um, hope that you guys enjoy this video um, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to my channel talk to you guys again soon Alright you guys, so we are at our next location uh, and it's the final uh, Confederate Brigade General that was actually killed uh, during the Battle of Chickamauga uh, and it is Mr. James Dessler, uh, Commanding Brigade Claiborne's Division killed here about noon September 20th 1863. Uh, so that is actually pretty cool. Now once we get up in this um, get back up to our location of our vehicle uh, if you walk a little bit off the beaten path uh, it's the brigade general king who was a union brigade general uh, that was actually killed here uh, during the battle and we're going to touch base now on the four union brigade generals because uh, we have concluded and found all eight, all four of the Confederate Brigade Generals uh, here at the battlefield of Chickamauga and Chattanooga National Military Park. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool. I always enjoy coming out here um, and, and, and getting to see um, the different monuments here and the different states that was involved. Uh, like my most recent video, uh, I was the most most recent video I did uh, was the 24th Illinois as well as the 82nd. Uh, I on my way to the last uh, brigade general, 
uh, James Dessler, uh, I passed uh, the 24th Illinois Monument uh, and stopped uh, and took a picture next to it. Um, so that was actually pretty cool uh, to know that I did a video on this brigade or on this regiment. Um, and it's, you know, it's heartfelt. It's heartwarming because not only do you get to learn the history about them, uh, but then you can come out here and pay your respects to not only them, but other states as well. Um, and that's always fascinating to me. Um, I always love learning about the Civil War and studying the Civil War. Um, all right, we're gonna start working on Babe. You want me to go ahead and walk over there to the king? Did you find dashboard? I did. It's up in the woods over here. Okay, I was just gonna take pictures. Oh, yeah, can you? Yeah. I got the Texas one. Is, is there anything over there I need to take pictures of? And what's this over here? Daddy. That one probably standing up over there. See it? The tall one? Okay. Daddy. These things right here, the small ones? It's Indiana, and it's hard to see them because it's a dark plaque. Yeah. With the sunlight, it makes it hard to see. Oh, I get close up. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go uh, take a picture next to the king. Okay. Huh? I want you to cut the grass. Why? I gotta look. You'll be okay. All right, you guys, so we are moving along uh, to get Colonel King. Yes. Um, Come on. Tomorrow, I was going to my dad. Okay. All right, you guys, so we're going to make our way over here uh, to Colonel King. Uh, he was a Union Brigade General uh, that was actually killed here at the Battle of Chickamauga. Uh, and if you see right here, uh, off in the far distance, there's that cabin. Uh, so, it's actually pretty cool. It's the uh, Snod Grass Cabin. Uh, there was actually a battle that took place on this battlefield uh, during September 19th uh, in the 20th of 1863. Uh, so, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Where's the other one? Okay, baby. Okay, baby. All right, you guys. So here we are. Uh, and this is Edward A. King, Colonel of the 68th Indiana, commanding second. Brigade Reynolds Division. He was killed, killed here at 5 p.m. September 20th, uh, 1863. Alright, and then right behind me, you guys, uh, that is the the battlefield of uh, Snodgrass. Uh, this was actually filled with uh, a battle at one point uh, during the when the Battle of Chickamauga was actually occurring. Uh, there was a battle that took place out here uh, and if you ever are in the area and stop by the visitor center, uh, they actually do have a book uh, talking a little bit more about the battle on Snodgrass. Uh, so, uh, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and walk back to the vehicle uh, and begin my journey through the rest of the Union uh, Brigade Generals. Uh, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And let's head back and go to the next spot. Alright you guys, so we are coming up on Colonel, or yeah, General uh, Hegg, uh, who was another brigade general uh, that was actually killed here at the battle as well. Um, now, we are working on the Union side of the brigade generals. We have finished uh, the Confederates. Um, 
now we're working on the Union. Uh, we seen the first one of Edward King, uh, where he was, where his mark was. Uh, All right, so this is Haynes C. Hegg, Colonel of the 15th Wisconsin, commanding 3rd Brigade, Davidson Division, mortally wounded here about 4 p.m. September 19th, uh, 1863. There's a couple more in this one. Alright you guys, so we're going to go ahead and hop into the vehicle uh, and go to the next general, uh, for, uh, the brigade general. Uh, and touch base there and give you guys some that content as well. Uh, and then go to the last one. Uh, and then there'll be a couple of monuments that we're going to take a, take a trip to uh, and pay your respects to, take some pictures. Uh, but with that being said, I love you guys and talk to you guys again soon.
All right, you guys. So here is William H. L L Light, Brigadier General, USV, Commanding First Brigade, Children's Division, killed here about noon, September 20th, 1863. So that is that is the last uh, general or brigade general that was actually killed uh, during the Battle of Chickamauga. Uh, and then right there you have an open field um, but we're gonna go ahead and start heading back to the video or back to the car um, now I am going to go and take a few pictures of some South Carolina uh, monuments that are here uh, one of them uh, is the South Carolina um, of the South Carolina regiment that was actually part of the uh, Northern Virginia, the Army of Northern Virginia. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, that's actually, I you know, that was one of the armies that battled a lot up north uh, with Robert E. Lee uh, and was in multiple different battles, um, including the Battle of Chancellorville uh, and many other battles. Um, so I'm going to take a picture next to that. Uh, there is an Alabama monument here uh, that I'm going to take a take a picture of. Uh, and uh, hope that you guys are enjoying this video. I know it's been kind of short uh, and stuff, but, uh, but I, I know that last time I was out here, I never got any of these these brigade generals. Uh, so. I'm going to, I was going to get them as well. Um, so with that being said, I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can go on the field because there's cannons and stuff that you can look at. All right, you guys, so we are at our next location uh, for the Union Brigade General. Uh, this one is uh, General uh, Baldwin. Uh, we're going to go over here uh, and pay our respects uh, to this general as well. Um, there's a couple monuments over here as well uh, that we're going to get on our way to the monument of uh, General Baldwin. Uh, well, I, really, I really hope that you guys are enjoying the videos that I bring to you guys. Uh, all the support that you guys are giving me uh, motivates me uh, and keeps me going each and every day uh, to bring you guys the best content that I can as, as much as I can as possible. Uh, so right here before we get to the monument, <coughs> you have the 1st Ohio Infantry uh, Baldwin's Brigade, Johnson's Division, the 20th Army Corps. Uh, so right there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, and we are right here uh, with the General Baldwin, uh, and. So this is Philbin P. Baldwin, Colonel of the 6th Indiana, commanding 3rd Brigade, Johnson's Division, and he was killed here about 7 p.m. on September 19th, 1863. So, it is actually pretty interesting um, just to be able to pay our respects to these people, these soldiers, and, and the infantry, and the in the states that were involved um you know because so it was one of those darkest times uh for america uh and and lost so many men and young men uh and 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 this five years of battling um all because of 
different views in Ohio. Um, but, you know, we all are united together. Uh, and then there's a monument right there in the back. But yeah, we we all we are all united together, uh, and and we're all a part of the union again. And uh, you know, that's that's what I try to do. Uh, I just want to share the message with you guys about the Civil War, uh, and let you guys know about the young men and and the men in states that was involved um, as well as you know all the different views uh, that was about each of the states and why they succeeded from the Union uh, what led up to the Civil War and why it lasted as long as it did You taking pictures, baby? Thank you. What? Chicken bonga's nice. I like Stones River too. I like Stones River too. Hold on. All right, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and conclude and get back in the vehicle and move to the next location. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Uh, and All right, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and hop in the vehicle. I'll check back in with you guys as soon as possible.